And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite five free apps on the Shopify app store. Now, just quickly before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know that I'm actually guys and girls, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. There's hardly any here in Australia and hardly any in the world. We're actually authenticated by Shopify. We build websites here as well. And the websites we've built have generated tens of millions of dollars of extra revenue for our clients and hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue has went through Shopify websites that we've actually built. So I guess that's the disclaimer of, I guess I sort of know what I'm talking about. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing before I actually say any of these apps is that the app store is not a candy store where you can go in and just grab whatever you want. If you have 50, 60 apps on your website, it's probably going to slow down the website. So pick the apps with care. What I normally like to do is duplicate my theme template, have a copy of it. So if I download an app and I don't like it, I can just delete it, um, go back to the old template because a lot of these apps will embed code into your website. It'll slow it down, stuff like that. Even when you remove it, some of the apps don't remove all the code. And site speed is more and more important as we move forward into the future. Our, our um, attention spans are lower and lower, so we need our websites to be fast. So let's get into it. If you go to the App Store here, you can search different types of apps and have a look at what you're interested in. I've put a list together of the ones that I like. And at a certain level, all apps make sense. So if you're starting out, free apps might make sense. If you're making millions of dollars a year, then you might want to spend thousands of dollars a month on apps. It all makes sense at certain different levels. So with that being said, let's get into the first one. So the first one is Shopify email. Now this one is free uh, for the first thousand emails, I think when you send out. Uh, first 10,000 emails each month is free. And then it's $1 every thousand emails after that. That is very good deal for an email marketing app. Now, is it the best app in the world? No, no way at all. This is not even close to the best app. I personally love Clavio, to be honest. But the thing is, when you're starting out and you're not making much sales or your list isn't very big, Shopify email is awesome. It's very limited, but it's awesome at certain stages. And like I said earlier, at certain stages, things make sense. So maybe if you're starting out, let's say you're making $500 a month and you use Shopify email, great app for that. Then you get to $10,000 a month, you might want to think about using Clavio. So this is definitely a, built, a stepping stone to the more expensive apps. Definitely highly recommend if you're on a budget or you're just starting out. Now, this one, I sort of can't believe that this is free. So number two, King Product Options and Variants. So if you're not aware on Shopify, it's very limited where you can only have three options and 100, 100 variants as a limit per product. I, I believe Shopify is soon going to change that to four options and 250 a variant limit, but they've said that a while ago and I don't think it's in, in place at the moment. So this might be a very good uh, app for you because some products, they need to have five, six options, hundreds of different variants and stuff. And I still can't believe this app is free. It has such a good rating, 4.8, lots of reviews, stuff like that. So if we actually click in here, here's some sort of options you can have, like color swatches, um, file uploads, all different things like that. You can, you can ask them for their number, um, email, all different things like that. So you can actually come through and see some of the stuff that they can do. Highly, highly recommend this if you are starting out. There is better apps than this that are paid, but I think this is a great starting uh, starting stepping stone as well to a paid app. And it's very um, flexible, uh, all different things like that. But I definitely think this is unbelievably, can't believe this is free, this app, if you need to have multiple options. Now, the next one, I use this on nearly all the websites that I build. It's called InstaFeed, where basically you can put your Instagram feed onto your website. Now there's two really good spots you can put an Instagram feed. 
where it pulls all your Instagram pictures and posts and puts it onto the website. So the bottom of the homepage and the bottom of the about page are two very good spots for this. I work with mostly people that have built brands on Instagram. So that's why we like to use this app because especially if most of your money is coming from Instagram, when someone clicks over from Instagram to your website, you want to give them the same feeling that they got on Instagram on your website if you're doing that. So Instagram feed is really good for this. And only do this if you have really good images as well. What we've been doing sometimes now as well is we've actually been custom coding blocks in where we're putting galleries where we actually make it like the Instagram feed, but people can actually pick their absolute best posts and stuff like that and a link straight over to Instagram. So that's something you could do as well if you've got a developer. There's some apps that do it as well, but if you don't want to mess around, I really like this app and it's free as well. Thank you to the team Mint Studio as well. There's just a quick shout out. Every time I've emailed these guys or, and girls about an issue, they've been really good and helped me and I've never paid them a cent. So highly recommend this. these guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you if you're watching this. All right, the next one. Shopify search and discovery. I've been using this quite a lot since it was, it was made since Shopify 2.0 come over as well. There's two really good features in this. And the first one is having filters on your collection page. So I'm gonna click that. So let's, I think it has a picture here. So you can actually have filters here. So you can filter by uh, product type, um, variants, tags, brands, all different stuff like that. It is an awesome thing that they've done making this. I, it's one of the things I love about the new version of Shopify is you, you're very flexible on the filter. Is there apps that build that make better filters? Yes. But I think this is a very, very good one. Um, it, it's sometimes a little bit limited, but I really like it. The other, the other thing that this app can actually do as well is do upsells. So let's see if they have, yeah. So you can actually add upsells. So you can actually put a uh, section block on your website on the product page where it's like complementary products and, and you can actually add two, three products under the add to cart button or wherever you want. So someone can easily click add the cart, add the cart and add all the stuff to the cart. Really, really good for upsells. Been using it a lot lately. Really love, highly recommend it. Now this one, it's a little bit, not really an app, but it's a bunch of apps. So Shopify has actually made a lot of apps here. They're all free. I'm pretty sure every single one here is free. So Shopify inbox, I've used that a lot, points of sales, stuff like that. Are the apps that Shopify make the best? No, pretty much never they are, but they're very good starting points for your journey. So if you're starting out on Shopify, a lot of these apps are really good, like search and discovery. If you're not sure if upsells will work on your website, downloading this and trying so, and trying to do the upsells is going to give you a really good indication of if it's worth using a paid up. Uh, having the filters is good. Even this bundles, it's not the best feature ever, but if you're thinking about doing bundles on your website, you can download this app completely free, test it out. If it works, you can either keep using this app or upgrade to a paid app. So it's definitely a, a block, a starting block, a stepping stone sort of thing as well. I even heard this link pop is pretty good. Um, I haven't personally used it yet. Link pop is like Linktree, but for Shopify, it has its own stats and stuff like that. Pretty sure it's very, very new. So there might be some bugs and stuff like that, but there's some awesome apps here that you can use. Even this digital download one, if you want to test out digital downloads, now there's a really good app for ten dollars USD a month for digital downloads. But if you're thinking about doing digital downloads, this is a good starting point. Some of these apps cop cop a lot of hate, but I think sometimes when you give stuff away for free, um, it attracts people that will give hate on the sort of stuff. So definitely something to think about. If you haven't thought about digital downloads as well. It's a really good upsell. If you made like a little digital download for completely free, that was all a dollar or something, add this extra 
digital download for a dollar or compliments uh, the, the, the product and stuff like that. It's a really, really good feature. Auto printer, um, all this other different stuff here. Uh, did I say points of sale? Uh, Shopify email, I talked about that. There's some really, really good ones here. There's 34 apps in total uh, that Shopify have made. So they're my five that I really like. Like I said, apps, don't use them like a candy store. And a lot of the apps are like stepping stones. At certain levels, it makes sense to spend more money on apps. So keep that in mind. If you're making a million dollars a month, makes sense to use spend a couple of thousand dollars on apps a month on like email marketing bundles uh upsells the really good ones and stuff like that but if you're just starting out you can try some stuff out for free shopify has made it pretty flexible there's some really good companies doing really good things uh with free apps a lot of companies will actually make a free app uh so when you really like their free app uh they'll upsell you into their paid app which is really cool like i like that app providers are giving value expecting nothing in return so like mint studio i've never paid them a cent um, they've helped my clients have awesome instagram feeds and they also have other apps and they have an upsell for that app as well so it's a bit like how i run my business give the value and expect nothing in return and sometimes it will return so if you just keep putting it out there, I'm guessing from making this video, a lot of people are going to go download uh, Instagram feed and they might uh, be able, to, they might upsell you into one of their paid apps and it's a win-win for everyone. So let me know what your favorite free apps are and if there's any apps you want me to make videos on, on how to install them into your website, stuff like that, it would be really helpful. Uh, your comments make this channel the best it can be so i really appreciate it when you leave comments so until next time have a good one and talk to you later bye